Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. Today we're in Luke 17, today verses 26 through 30, and let's read it. And as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be also in the days of the Son of Man. They ate, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, as it was also in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built, but on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even so will it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So, Jesus is telling us something here. It's very important. Jesus is telling us that, you know, things are all going to look like they're just going wonderfully well. Everything's, you know, day by day. We're just going to do our daily tasks here, do our daily laundry, get gas for the car. All right, we're going to do this thing, take our shower, you know, etc., and suddenly, kaboom, suddenly sudden destruction comes. So we think that things are going to be normal. They look like they're normal. People are marrying, giving in marriage. It's all happening right up to the last moment. And then suddenly destruction comes. That's the way it was that morning in Sodom and Gomorrah. That was the, the day that God's judgment came upon that city. Things were very normal. Perhaps the birds were chirping. And people were putting grapes on the table and just starting off their day. Uh, but you know what? That was the end. And we... we feels like, you know, well, this Christianity thing is kind of dragging on. We never see, but one day, kaboom, it will be judgment. So sudden destruction comes. Let's be true to Jesus now, and let's avoid that sudden destruction that, that is going to happen one morning. One morning when the birds, perhaps, are just plain singing like normal. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that uh, Jesus is going to come and heal us and help us. Lord, we look forward to that intervention, but we just need to be right along the way. Help us not to be lulled into complacency, Lord. Help us not to trust in the wrong things. Help us to be true day by day by day. And this is our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Friend, may the blessings of God be upon you as we continue uh, onward, moving towards the conclusion of the Gospel of Luke.